Does Wegovy and Manjaro really work for weight loss? Coming up next. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, I'm Countess of Shopping. We're gonna do a get ready with me. We're gonna walk through all of this. I got a ton of free resources for you down in the description link below and let's go dive in. Super excited to dive in. Does Manjaro weight loss work? Wegovy weight loss and Ozempic weight loss, which is Wegovy for, uh, Wegovy is for the weight loss component. Ozempic is for type two diabetics, but do they really work? Let's dive into that. Uh, let me qualify myself as I have lost over 45 pounds with Manjaro weight loss. I am not a doctor, so this is not medical advice. Talk to your own medical professional for that. I do have a free Manjaro weight loss success checklist down in the description link below on the bottom right, as is a free Manjaro weight loss encouragement group. If you're on Ozempic weight loss, Vigovi weight loss, Compounds, Trulicity weight loss, you can also join that too. It's totally free. Thousands of people encouraging space, but only if you're nice. <laughs> make sure you fill out all the questions on that. If you don't, I, there's a lot of spammers that try to come in, so make sure you do fill out all the questions on that free Facebook group. And I do have a paid one for deeper accountability and encouragement too, which is amazing. Tonight's our call. We have a video chat call together, and that's also tonight. Let's dive in. Does it really work? So first off, I like to say, and I'm gonna do a get ready with me as we're going through, we're gonna do a get ready with me. This is on uh, today on, I've talked about it on my show, on my Amazon live show. I will link it down below for cleansing. So I've already done this step. And of course, prices are subject to change on Amazon. Um, does it really work? So I don't like to make blanket statements across the board of like, what works for me may not work for you. And so thy own self be true. For some people, no, it doesn't. For me, Majero weight loss has been life-changing. I'm going to go through some areas that you may not think of why Majero and Wegovy and Ozempic, they were the repackaged type 2 diabetic one, why it is so wonderful for a certain type of person. And again, I think it would be, it's erroneous to think that this is for everybody because that's not true. That is not true. I just put on the pink drink. All of the products I'm doing for my Get Ready With Me will also be down in the description link below with my Amazon Beauty Finds. Today, also the Mario, and I mispronounce this all the time, Badescu, this one is on sale. The spray is on sale today, so snag that. And the number one best-selling snail mucin, um, continues to be one of the Amazon like top selling products that is also on sale. So, so that's number one is making a blanket statement is not helpful for anyone because I do know people because we have people in our encouragement group who they haven't lost weight or they've lost significantly less than what they thought they would lose from taking Manjaro, Wegovy, Ozempic, they uh, compounds, Trulicity, all that whole lump of them. They thought that they'd be further along than where they are which we're gonna talk about. If you stay till the end, we're gonna talk about that and why. So make sure you stay all the way through this video and click that follow button and that like button if you haven't already done so. So the YouTube algorithm will show you more videos like this. Number two is the food chatter component. The food chatter for me, and again, I'm gonna use I statements throughout this whole thing, take what you want and leave the rest, is the food chatter has stopped. That has, that coupled with feeling full has been a game changer with me. I feel like those two components with Manjaro weight loss and again, we go be weight loss, so Olympic weight loss helps put me on the same playing field as someone who's air quote normal to be able to eat healthfully or at least have a batting chance, like to go up to bat, to have a batting chance, to be able to make healthful choices. Uh, this is my eye cream that I'm using uh, today. Next up, I've got um, the Image Skincare Viral C. This is actually also on sale today. I talked about it in my Amazon Live show. Um, again, prices are subject to change. It's one of my favorites. I love this vitamin C. They do have a uh, less expensive version that I also like, but this one is more expensive, but it works slightly better in my humble opinion, which I purchased this too, by the way. I pur purchased this. So those two things help put me on the same playing field. With taking Mujero, it literally for me has stopped that food chatter. Now when the food chatter comes back, because it does, for me, that means I need to titrate up to the next dose. When I first, and that's like my signal, I'm like, is it back? If it's back for a bit, it like, is it like my period or hormonal things or is it back? That's something I have a conversation with my doctor about. We walk through, is it back? Is it, um, just because of hormones, what is it? And then that will determine if I titrate up on Manjaro or if um, the other thing is fullness. When I first started taking Manjaro, my 2.5 milligrams of Manjaro was so full, 
so full. And actually yesterday I had lunch. We had the most amazing lunch. It was at Texas Day Brazil. I had a um, delicious steak and vegetables. I had protein and vegetables, very healthful, clean meal. It was delicious. I was so full from that meal from my Manjaro lunch. I didn't have Manjaro dinner. I didn't have any other meals. I was so full. I was feeling my body. I had later that night some decaf coffee and then also some water, but I was so full from feeling my body of like my body signals. I didn't need to eat anything else. I was satiated. So those two things for me, the food chatter, preventing like the mind effery with that of like healing the unhealthy relationship I've clearly had with food because I'm, I have been obese and helping me make better choices. And then two, putting it on the same playing field of feeling full of like, oh, that's what air quote normal people feel like with feeling full. I'm holding up by the way, this was my favorite dermaplane tool. If you need a new dermaplane tool, I have tested at least 10 different dermaplane tools. This one is my favorite. I will link that down below with all the Amazon beauty finds down below. Next up, I'm gonna put on my moisturizer, the Tan Lux Tanning Drops in your, um, moisturizer is on sale today and again prices are subject to change this i've had this bottle now for at least a year it is awesome 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 it works better than the l'oreal one that i bought well worth the extra price point and i look you can see how much i've used in the past year so it's pricey but it's i'm uh, you get quite a bit with it so i'm going to mix that with um i just bought this one it's the tinted moisturizer um spf 46 so we're going to see we're going to see how that looks um, so those two things are big, 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 big. And then literally, I'm just going to use of these drops. I'm just going to use one, two, three. We're going to do four because I'm feeling footloose and fancy free. And then I'm just going to mix that around and put it on my face. And then right afterwards, I'm going to wash my hands because my hands die. So those two things, food chatter and feeling full. Number three, because of I'm eliminating or reducing that food chatter, I can make better food choices. Because I'm feeling full, I can make better food choices. I finally feel I'm on the same playing field as air quote normal people to actually have a fighting chance to make normal food choices. And with that, now comes a responsibility uh, that I take super seriously and I'm cognizant every single day of those food choices that I'm making. By the way, a less expensive option is also the CeraVe Ultra Lightweight Moisturizer, SPF 30. That's also linked down below too. You may say, okay, what are the healthy food choices, Elizabeth, then do I make? What should I be eating on Manjaro? Or what should I be eating on Wegovy? Or what should I be eating on Ozempic? Um, I'm gonna put on my uh, Lange Lip Mask. I'm obsessed with this stuff. They also have a new squeezy tube, which is amazing. It is awesome and really helps with chapped dry lips as you get really chapped dry lips. This lip mask is delicious. So a couple of resources that I have listed down below for you are um, a low carb meal delivery system. We use that twice a week. We used to use it four times a week and we found that that was too much for our family. This one is also linked down below my primer. It also does have SPF in it as well. We use that twice a week and it has in there low carb options. You can pick whatever you want with it. Like if you want to not have low carb options, you don't have to have that. That's just what I works really well with my body is protein and vegetables. <laughs> when I stay in that lane, my body feels differently and it feels better. So that's the route that I personally like to take, but to each their own. So I have that meal delivery system and then I have 125 protein ideas listed down in the description link below that you can get protein ideas with too because we need to have protein. That's one of the things that I see is as women in general, and if there's our counts out there in addition to our countesses that are watching, we don't need enough protein. We grab for carbs or like starchy things as opposed to the protein and we need that protein for our muscles. Um, particularly with muscle mass, we've been talking about that a ton in our free um, Majora Weight Loss Encouragement group and also in the paid one too. In our paid group, we've gone over and over and over ways that we can help reduce muscle mass loss and tracking that. If you guys did not see the scale that I had earlier this week, if you're not on my free email list, I've been talking about this now on my free weekly encouragement email list about this scale that helps to measure muscle mass in addition to weight and BMI and stuff like that. That's also linked down below, but a track number grows tracking that muscle mass loss to make sure that you're eating the right helpful choices. Cause you can see on the scale, like, am I losing muscle mass or am I gaining? Am I doing like weight training, protein, stuff like that? So 
having my encouragement for you is finding what works best for you that's the most nutritious for me and again i'm not a doctor i'm not a nutritionist this is just my experience strength and hope and hopefully helps you is protein having nutritious foods such as fruits and vegetables that have minerals and vitamins in them that to me is what i'm after that's kind of like my my, my focal point and then having supplements to supplement <laughs> having supplements to help supplement with that so and then from that having that allows me to have number six which is going to be sleep and having movement and helping with anxiety so because of taking Monjero for weight loss, we go via Ozempic. For me, with Monjero, I've made, I've had better sleep, which has helped my anxiety, which has also helped my weight loss, which has also helped me make better food decisions because I'm well rested, which has also helped to reduce my anxiety. Like it's all like this big wheel and big web together. It's all to help reduce those and make my weight loss journey better because we know being well rested helps on the weight loss journey. Now, if you have little kids, extra grace, extra grace. I used to watch these videos and be like, oh, well, I have little kids and I'm up. I was up. Part of the reason why I look kind of, I was in the middle of the night. I was mom and hardcore in the middle of the night last night. I'm grateful. It's like the best job I have is being a really good mom. And so I was up in the middle of the night and I'm tired as AF. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm like extra concealer. But that does affect weight loss if you're not sleeping. It does. And for me, it affects um, anxiety and it also affects my choice if I'm going to do body movement or not. Next, I'm going to do my setting spray with my Elizabeth Mott. Next, I'm going to put on my contour and then I've got my brush set down below. Those are also linked down in the description link below. So if you've made it this far, you've made it to the bonus section. Woohoo! You waited with bated breath. <laughs> no, it's the thing that I wanted to tell you guys was, what if you're not losing weight? What if it's not really working for you? Because I feel like I'm gonna get those comments too. And of course I have love, grace, kindness, and compassion because I have watched videos before across the, I don't know, 30 plus years I've been on a weight loss journey being like, that's great, but that hasn't helped me. <laughs> or I'm still 100 pounds overweight or whatever. Um, so I totally like to affirm, validate, I get you. like. I get you more than I get you. Sometimes people write these comments and I'm like, I don't think you understand. Like, I understand you. We are we are in the same boat. <laughs> like, I get the plight and of this whole thing. But even if somebody is choosing to take Ozempic for a weight loss, that is not my business. That is not my business. People are gonna get mad about that, but it's not. I'm gonna stay in my lane. That energy that I could fight people online, I can go work on my own weight loss journey. So let me go back to the point at hand and get off my, my rant was what if you're not having weight loss with it? Two things, two solutions for you. Let's stay in that solution mindset is one, if you took an honest appraisal and an honest inventory of what you've been eating and you still have not been losing weight, would you see with that honest appraisal and inventory that you were making the best possible food choices? For me, on times where I have not lost weight and I actually am brutally gut level honest, I could say, hey, it's the choices I made. It's the choices I made. And if then the step further is like, no, but I am, is keeping a log so you really know and weighing and measuring food. Now for me, people ask me about tracking, weighing and measuring my food and tracking. For me, that sets my ear off. So one of the things I've learned by knowing self be true, that for me has self, so I don't tend to do that right now. My aspiration is that I have enough healing that I can do that in the future. I'm just not there yet, but I would like to, I would like to. But I have in the past done it for like a day just to see like, oh, and then I realized, oh, that one cup that as I measure stuff, I'm like, I've been eating three cups. <laughs> Being honest and having that honest appraisal and inventory has shown me, okay, it's not, it's, it's actually not what I thought it was has been my experience. Everybody's experience is different. Number two, the other thing then, if you know you have been eating, you've done the self appraisal, the self inventory, and you know that it's squeaky clean, you're eating what you're supposed to be eating, you're eating the right proteins. People ask, okay, how much protein do I eat? It's 0.36 times your weight equals the number of grams of protein you're supposed to have in the day. 
that's per heart my source let me say my source is harvard medical did a whole like there was a that's where i got my my, my source from it was 0.36 times your body weight is how many grams of protein you should have in a day what if you don't eat all of that do the best you can of eating that percentage ratio for your body and getting as much as you can in. But obviously, like not force feeding, I feel like that's also not helpful. When you do eat, eat the best choices you possibly can during that time window. Okay, let's go back over. So that's number one was taking the honest appraisal and inventory. That very well right there may fix the problem and help you come up with a solution because we want to be solution oriented. And we also, for me, or me do not want to be emotional in this decision making with all of this either because I have in the past led with emotions and it's made me gain weight and be miserable and we want to live happy joyous and free lives in addition of making uh, blanket statements of uh, oh, let me go back if you're making food choices does it have a ton of sugar in it even like air quote healthful sugars that are on the market it, that still even with like fake sugars or whatever still cannot be in my opinion and again, I don't like to make blanket statements, but for my body, let me use my eye statements for my body, um, that can help, that, that will have me gain weight. Where I continuously lose the cadence and rhythm in which I lose is fresh fruits, vegetables, or frozen <laughs> fruits and vegetables, nutritious laden vitamins and minerals in there with meat or protein. And that protein also like faya yogurt, Greek yogurt, like air quote, real food. You know what I'm saying? Like, as opposed to like a packaged bar and things like that, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I'm obsessed with Fair Life. You guys can see my show on Fair Life, like quick, grabby protein things. That is certainly a part of my repertoire in a given week for Majero weight loss, but it's not what I'm consistently mainly eating. So if you're mainly eating packaged foods, maybe that's something you want to stop for a week and see if that helps. Whoa, daddy. To see if that helps to fix... Um, to, to drop weight quickly. So I had to go run, go on air real fast. So hence the outfit change. I'm going to finish doing my hair and finish kind of talking what we were talking about. Um, so I want to talk about if you have taken that self-appraisal, if you know that in that inventory that you have done the best that you can do, truly, then my next step for you would be you need to have a conversation with your doctor and get a blood panel would be my encouragement. That, that That's what I'm hunting to. For me, with having an unhealthy relationship with food, I've had to relearn a whole bunch of new stuff that I just didn't know. And when you don't know, you don't know. For me, I thought I had been making super, super healthy choices. And I was like, oh, no wonder I wasn't losing weight with my body type. So that's something I want to encourage you to of there's nothing defective or wrong with you. It's simply a matter of is the, the, the food going in the right choice? And then also, sorry, that's my T3, which I'm going to do my hair real fast. Is the food going in the right choice? And then is there a blood panel to show something else? Because maybe it's just something else underlying that can easily be fixed with it through having a, an easy blood test done. And that's my next level of like, okay, go get a blood test. It's no big deal to get a blood panel. By the way, I'm using the Chi um, Heat Safeguard for my hair. And then my T3 Vegan Boar's Head Brush, which I am obsessed with this brush. When a boy tried to use it the other day, I was like, don't touch it. I'll buy you your own, but don't touch mine. I love this airbrush. It's vegan boar. It's like, it makes my hair look super, super shiny. So I love it. And then I've got my T3. Um, this thing is so smart. I think it's smarter than I am. Super, super smart. So that would be my other encouragement level for you and is to not give up. And also off that, if you're not losing the weight that you think that you should be, are your expectations realistic? I think because some people are paying out of pocket, they're like, I should expect to lose five pounds every week or whatever. I'm just making that up. I kind of had that. I was like, I'm paying so much money because my insurance claim got denied. Um, this better work, you know? <laughs> like if I'm paying out of pocket for that, like this better work. So I want you to also have realistic expectations with that for the amount of weight that you're going to be losing each week too. You know, and if you are like six weeks in, of course, week one, week two are going to be more. Again, don't want to make blanket statements, but generally speaking, then later on, because you're probably losing a lot of water weight. It's a lot of superfluous, not like actual like fat loss. So I think that that's something also to take into account with of expectations. And then also, you know, maybe incorporating some weight training in, getting some more muscle on there because we were talking about the loss of muscle mass. I think that that's also important too. That's something for me that I, going back to my eye statements, I am definitely doing. I'm trying to do 
more walking, more weight training um, to help with the muscle that I do have so I can be, you know, having that muscle burn fat while I'm sleeping, which is important too. So I hope that all of these helped you. If you need resources, I got a ton of free resources down below. My 125 protein ideas for you. And then also, um, and some of them are quick on the go and some of them are like, you know, just easy ones that you can make at home. Um, also have that Manjaro weight loss free success checklist, but you can use that too, by the way, for Wegovy weight loss, Ozempic weight loss, Trulicity weight loss. You can use it for all of those, you know, if you're on compounds or things like that. Um, what else? Oh, in our free group. We have the paid group, which I'm obsessed with the paid group because it's a deeper level of accountability. It's only $9.99 a month and you get the free digital tracker with it. So you can track each week how much is your dose, how much are you having with it, with your shot each week. And then if you have side effects, and then it's a really good barometer of your side effects. Everything that I talked about is down below. Many of you guys know I am obsessed with my skin tightening and loose skin tightening creams. These are not miracle workers. I always preface with, if you're, it's not a miracle worker, it's a cream. <laughs> if you want like really like loose skin fixing, it's a surgery. This is not a surgery. <laughs> More expensive one, and these are all listed down below, less expensive one, for me helps to tighten my hands, tighten my skin. Again, is it going to be a miracle worker? No. Does it help? Absolutely. It helps with crepiness of skin, tightens that skin. Do I have to reapply it throughout the day? Yes. It's a cream. Again, it's not a miracle worker, but I've had this bigger one for a long time. Look how much I've used in it. Like there's still so much left. It's 10 ounces. Uh, this one, you can get different sizes on it. Still have a bunch left. It does It is does have fragrance. So if you don't like fragrance, just FYI. Those are also some of my must have favorites, 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 favorites. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. I'll see you soon.